Hi there, I'm Mary Jane the Art Siren, otherwise known as Art Siren MJ, and you can call me MJ for short. To put it simple for the flounders out there, I'm an artist and a mermaid, which means I love to draw and make content just about as much as I love to swim and eat shellfish while I brush my long hair and listen to dark stories of sailors sinking into the depths of the sea because of how witty and captivating an art siren's drawings can be. <laughs> but I'm out of the water and ready for my 13th video on this channel. Thank you for being here. In this video, I'm going to be drawing Master Form Sora from objectively one of the best games ever made, Kingdom Hearts 2. And while you watch me draw this, I'm going to share my position on the Kingdom Hearts franchise and why I recently opted out of the fandom. But before we do that, a quick shout out to those who donated to my Kofi page once again. We all voted and agreed that I should draw Sora next, and with everyone's generosity, the goal was reached before its deadline. And you are the reason I'm able to work on projects that I wouldn't otherwise get to do, so thank you so much. Your names are in the description. Mwah. All right, on to Kingdom Hearts. I'd like to start by saying that I have been a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan for years since the release of Kingdom Hearts 2. Sora has been one of my top husbandu since forever and still is. Yes, all the cringe fangirling is evident that I am coming from a place of love. I still use Kingdom Hearts sounds for my Twitch sub alerts, so I will always care for it. And despite the absolute horrendous writing throughout the entire series, I stuck with it for so long because I was a fan and I had wonderful memories playing some of the games. However, the moment came when I finally quit, and that was due to a couple of events relating to the absolute failure that is Kingdom Hearts 3. I played nearly all of the other games in the franchise, but none of them ever measured up to the second main installment. This is why, like many other fans, I was highly anticipating the next main installment, Kingdom Hearts 3. However, the wait was so ridiculously long that I actually stopped caring for a while. But when the game finally came out, I let my heart back in. We paid full price for the game and I began to play. And the disappointment was unreal, it was almost insulting. The game felt like a Kingdom Hearts 2 knockoff where all of the good stuff about it was removed and replaced with single button smashing, boring combat with overpowered amusement park ride finishers, and oversized empty worlds. The main plot didn't cross over with Disney at all, making every Disney world feel like filler, and we only got to visit each world once instead of the usual twice. The pacing was so bad, I thought I was just getting started before I, and before I knew it, the game was over. The ending, which held nearly all of the plot, was shoved down my throat all at once that the only tears I shed were those of physical pain of having to sit through what was basically a YouTube cutscene movie. And the gameplay was so damn easy that the cutscenes felt more like ad breaks rather than a reward for making it as far as you did. And did you notice the giant worlds with almost no content in them? I'd walk for miles and not a single treasure chest in sight. And no, I couldn't give a crap about the hidden Mickeys. Finding them in the frozen mountains is about as exciting as putting a puzzle together made up of sky pieces. Kingdom Hearts 3 had its moments that I enjoyed, and visually it was very pretty. Finishing this game actually still wasn't the final straw for me to quit either. What actually did it <laughs> was the soon DLC release just a few weeks later. This DLC was meant to contain more plot, gameplay, and a critical mode. And this DLC was priced at almost half the cost of the original game. Nope, that was it. I paid $100 for this game. It was short, it was bad, and I waited 13 years to play. And to play some more bad content that should have already been included in the game, I had to pay another 40? I refused to give any more financial support to such a bad product. And guess what? A few years later, today, in 2022, I can go to GameStop right now and pick up Kingdom Hearts 3 for, wait for it, 15 bucks because most people returned it, and rightfully so, because this game has no replayability whatsoever. Oh, I can break apart Kingdom Hearts 3 in detail, and why it will never live up to would be a decent game, let alone live up to its amazing predecessor, Kingdom Hearts 2. But there's not enough time, and I want to end this note on a positive one. I love Sora, and I love Kingdom Hearts 2, and I will always hold it dear to my heart as one of my favorite games of all time second only to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. <clears throat> 
and I will still follow the series as I am curious to see where it goes with Kingdom Hearts 4, even though it's looking like a junior Final Fantasy game at this point, but it's early to judge. And I will still enjoy chatting about the series with all of you and my friends. Please don't be afraid to talk to me about the, about the series, I am still open-minded and warm about it. But I will not be giving the series any more of my money, and I no longer consider myself an active member of the fandom. But that doesn't change the fact that Sora is my husband do. In another faraway alternate universe, I rescued him from his horrible fate, and now we live together on an island where he and the mermaid belong. The end. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and yeah, yeah, you know what every YouTuber outro is like. The only difference is that I go back underwater when I'm done. But don't forget to leave a comment down below. Do you play Kingdom Hearts? Which game was your favorite? Tell me why. Talk about it with me down below. So take care of yourself, fish butt. And when you hear of the next sailor who went missing out at sea, it wasn't me. Feel the walls closing and the air so thin. Radio silence. Keep my love locked up, writing a cell phone, waiting for closure. Break the spell and break that silence. Are we walking in?